Hey, I wasn't planning on filming this, but since I'm trying out a new pot, I figured we'd try it out together. So someone sent this to the P.O. box. I think it's from the company that made this. So it's a it's a sukiyaki hot pot machine. I was thinking about what to eat for dinner tonight, and I realized that I have a lot of hot pot and K barbecue materials left. Let's give this baby a try. It's a simple layout, but uh, it's pretty extravagant. Honest feedback about this pot, it's pretty loud. And it took a long, long time to boil. It took about half an hour to boil. Let me see if I can turn on both at the same time without uh, shorting on my circuit. It smells good. I can't wait for you guys to try this tomato broth. This is so amazing. It's gonna come in the hot pot cake. You can order it individually as well. This is a life-changing hot pot broth. And I can't believe I would recommend it above the spicy one, but I do. Maybe one of the best I've ever had anywhere in the hot pot world. Also, when you put the meat on the side of this barbecue grill, it just slips into this, the uh, the grease trap. It's cool. It looks cool. I feel like the slope might might just be a little too much. Hmm. Ah, oh, loving this though in this tomato broth. Seriously, whatever goes in here, automatically upgraded. So I turned the pot to low now, and now it's quiet. But then the broth isn't boiling. Mm. Overall, this thing, neat idea, but uh, a little rough on the execution. This is my favorite item to dip into the tomato broth. The fried tofu skin, it, it's basically just a sponge. Parents want your kids to eat vegetables, give them vegetables. Mm. Don't even need this dipping sauce. I don't even know why I got this. All right, food and video time. I am currently watching this anime about this guy who died and reincarnated as a slime. It's a good anime. I, I can't believe I'm saying this. The anime is about a 37 year old guy. He died, stabbed to death, reincarnated as a slime. And it's amazing. I I'm gonna go do this now. See you in a bit. Today you're gonna hit to Williamsburg, Brooklyn. Place I don't usually go. And the food scene there has been exploding, so let's go check it out. That's Sophie. Hey Sophie. Is that you? My sister. Gotta make a pit stop to see a little dumpling. <laughs> You miss me? Hey, baby. Oh, I missed you. Say hi. Say hi. You're the cutest in the world, aren't you? I've never been here before. Moment, momenty. This actually looks kind of good. Oh, the oven. This place is so interesting. It has all these traditional Chinese dishes. Let's try this thing. It's all right. A little nummy, a little spicy. Mm. I also got these noodles because we finalized all the sauces. Let me show you this one. We got the dried chilies. I mean, we got the crispy garlic. This one is very exciting. That's delicious. That garlic is crunchy like wheat. That's a good job. Crispy yeah. garlic now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, this is great. You're Whatever this is, one, right? I don't know yet. I don't know. I'll try this one. So the chili base is the same for these two. Yeah, but you could be a little deeper because of the crispiness. I think this is better. A little, little, little better because of. It's the a little light. better. You did good, man. This yeah, is yeah. delicious. This is punch it. Guys, I cannot wait for you to try this garlic chili sauce. Do you like it? I have more. You want more? Do you like it? Yes. I want oh, more. God. Okay, I'll get you more. Get you more. This is a winner with a full course of chicken dinner. Sophie just like down two dishes of it. He's slower. Good. How many bottles do you want to buy? <laughs> just jacked for you to taste this. You want more? You want more? No. You just say you like a lot. This is an unsolicited 
review. You want to brag to everyone about your Yelp Elite status? I'm a Yelp Elite five years in a row, and I work really hard at it because I write a lot, and I'm honest with my reviews. Okay, so how do you review the hot oil? This one, this is crap. I'm gonna buy a bucket. Is that good? Buy more. Can you have? Go ask him for some more. Knocked it out of park with this one. So Eddie recommended this place. Thanks, buddy. Very nice. Hey. Sukumim, the recommendation is show you. Sophie got spicy meat so she tried to be different. And how'd that work out for you? Show you is better. It's much better. That is so good. The noodle texture is just excellent. Excellent. Little anchovy flavor in the broth. That's something I was looking for since coming back from Japan. Yeah. You don't find it a lot here. Mm. Broth is nice and thick too. Yeah, this is a good place. Come here and try this, you know, before my place opens. They have everything here in Williamsburg. I never ventured this long in Williamsburg before. Lucy's. Oh, wow. Oh, that smells good. We're trying out this Vietnamese spot that Eddie said is awesome. But it's not something you want, it's something you need. Yeah. Cheating on our dog yeah. with other cute puppies. <laughs> Stop it. Yeah, he's nine. Everyone always thinks he's a puppy. She's nine? Yeah. Wait, is our puppy going to look like that when she's nine? All right, second place waiting for it smelling so good. I haven't been to Williamsburg in so long. It's becoming so much like Manhattan. <laughs> it's just food everywhere, people walking around everywhere. It's nice. It's different, but I like it. While we wait for the pho to come out, a big shout out and thank you to Surfshark VPN for sponsoring this video and continuing to support this channel. If you guys don't have it already, I highly recommend getting a VPN, a virtual private network. Of course, right now everything is online and as things open up, you're gonna be connecting to many random strange Wi-Fi hotspots. You gotta protect your data. You've ever like Googled a keyword or a brand or chat with your friend about a certain product and all of a sudden the ads for that brand or product start appearing everywhere? That's digital creeping. It needs to stop. So what Surfshark does is that it encrypts and secures your data before it goes over the internet. That way the people who you don't want access to your personal information and data won't have access to it. It's so simple. You click a couple buttons and you are connected. Surfshark also has hack lock ID. So if anyone's trying to access something like your email, you're gonna get notified right away. You can also set your location to all these different countries. Let's say you run out of content you wanna watch in the US or in Japan or UK. You can switch your countries around trick Netflix a little bit it's gonna give you a bunch of new and different videos to watch so if you want to try it out use the link down below and my promo code Mikey Chen you're gonna get 83% off your order plus extra three months for free and you can try it out for 30 days and if you don't like it you can get your money back and I've been using Surfshark long before they even started sponsoring me so this is absolutely a product I love so it's my pho which just got here Oh, that's good. Oh, that broth is great. That's one of the best broths I had in New York. It's very good. When you have that smooth brisket, mm. it's very different from like the usual. Uh, it's very clear. <laughs> the broth is vegetarian? No, it's not. When, uh, what? <laughs> the broth is not vegetarian. Really? Yeah. That's great broth. I mean, I do taste like the lack of fattiness. So the beef flavor is just from the brisket. Yeah. Mmm. Oh, that's smoky. It <coughs> Cause I'm like, I definitely taste beef in this broth. Yeah. Yo, this smoke is ridiculous. It's not the most tender brisket, but it's smoky. Mmm. -hmm. Mm, this is very interesting, pa. Sophie, again, made the bad decision of not getting a pho. Now she wants. And now she wants half my fuck. I bet you, you could have ate a whole pho by yourself. This is really good. Still adding sriracha though. Mm, that's very good. All right, we gotta think about what to eat next. <laughs> you gotta come and try this pho. It will fulfill you. 
I'm halfway full. Yo, we gotta keep eating. Can you do one more? <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta do a third meal. Yuzu cheesecake and hojicha? Yeah. Crepe cake? Thanks, Amy. Yuzu cheesecake. Oh, Yuzu cheesecake is really good. Uh, the crepe cake is good too. Oh my god, it's like a yuzu exploded in my mouth. It's very good. Mm -hmm. Hot oil ice cream. It's not bad. You gotta like hot oil, and you gotta like ice cream. Hot oil ice cream. Yeah. It's not that spicy. It's not bad. <laughs> 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 Hot oil ice cream. <laughs> Alright, thanks Eddie. See you later, buddy. <laughs> Super hole in the wall needle place. Oh, this looks good. Oh my gosh, look how soft this meat is. Oh, look at this chashu. This might be the most tender looking piece of chashu I've ever found in ramen. This is the tan tan man. Oh, okay, so thick. Udon noodles in the ten ten minute. This is the the kinjin noodle. I think she said looks like some fatty beef. What is this? I think it's tofu skin, pumpkin, and the th same thick udon noodles. Gotta say, both of these look amazing. Oh, this is good. Taste the meat. Taste the miso. Taste the fish. Mm. Oh, definitely taste the fish. The anchovies. Mmm. Noodles are super chewy. Meat's okay. I don't think that's my favorite. I love the noodles. I love the dashi. That was the uh, the chef special with the veggies and pork inside. This is what I wanted, the tan tan min. I'm, looking, I'm eating noodles and I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes right now. I think I taste better with hot oil inside me. Super scrumptious. They definitely make that in-house. Very smooth, aromatic sesame broth. Yo, try this chashu. Here. Try that. How good is that? Huh? Melts in your mouth. Yeah? You want my you want my noodles now? You want this bowl? Food regret is horrible. This place has one of the best chashu I've ever had of any ramen. Any ramen. Like this chashu is so good. It just melts in your mouth pork, but not only is it melt in your mouth, it's so freaking flavorful. Mm. If you come here, 100% get the tan tan man. You like mine better? Yeah. <laughs> That's like the theme of today. It really is. It's definitely different than the tan tan man I had before. It's not as oily and it's not as nummy. It's a little spicy and very sesame smooth. You want to come back and what? What I got? Always order what I got. Got a sixth sense when it comes to this stuff. All right, I can't stay here much longer. I'm just like getting eaten alive. You want any more food? I want dessert. Again? Yes. Is there number two? Yes. Woohoo! Warm chocolate cake! Only thing better than a chocolate cake is a warm chocolate cake with ice cream. Warm cake and ice cream. There's something just simply magical about that. Mm. Mm. Ice cream is good too. Really refreshing. Oh, this warm cake thing is magical. Mm-hmm. Well, this blueberry melted ghost custard. Mmm. I love blueberry pie. I told you guys, I used to go to Whole Foods and get like three pies for, you remember those three pies for like $12 deals at Whole Foods with blueberry pie or Trader Joe's, one of those two places? I used to get that and just not leave the house. Mm. Actually, that Napoleon does have a complex. Short on stature, big on flavor. I like it. Sophie, what's your favorite? The warm chocolate cake? And blueberry pie. Mmm. Blueberry pie. Blueberry pie. Try some blueberry pie with the ice cream. You know how to I love blueberry pies. 
blueberry pie with ice cream. Might as well as that. You know what's great about this herb? You eat good ones, it makes you hungry again. I could get a burger right now. I could get a burger right now. Almost finished with all this. It's not good. I mean, it's good. It's not good. If you don't know, today is Mid-Autumn Festival. It's basically like Thanksgiving for most Asian countries. In Chinese, we call today Zhongqiujie. Basically, it's a day where family get together, have the meal, look at the moon, which is supposed to be really round today. And today, my parents were pretty busy with the new apartment and all that stuff, so didn't really have time for dinner. So I'm some mooncakes. Okay, so funny thing, it's a mess. I'm not gonna show you guys, otherwise they will be upset at me for showing you guys how messy this place is, because obviously, they just moved in. Oh, look at this. This was our, our first trip um, after coming to the US. 1989, Thanksgiving, Florida. This is me and my dad at the beach. Oh, that's me in a Speedo. Only picture you'll see me in a Speedo. Wait, do I have abs? I might have abs. That's me again with an oversized shirt. That's my mom feeding seagulls. That's me and the, the family because we were really poor. So we went on a church sponsored trip to Disney. So that's our foster family. There, there's me covering Mickey's eyes. If you can tell, I have a sort of a mustache and there's a reason for that. And there's me and my mom. And the reason was that I was allergic to a, a Chinese medicine. So I had an allergic reaction. So throughout second and third grade, I had like this mustache, dark shade over above my lips. So between here and here, I, I look like 30. Anyway, what was funny was that I want to surprise my parents with some mooncakes and they just called me they're at my house because they, they just finished their business upstate and they wanted to go for dinner so i'm here and they're over there i know they're gonna be watching this so happy Zhongqiujie, mom and dad eat your mooncakes and i know by the time this video comes out it'll be way after mid autumn festival but those who do celebrate it hope you get to spend it with your family spend it with the people that you care about spend it around tons of great food delicious mooncakes think about the goddess in the moon the bunny rabbit in the moon interesting legend and just take this opportunity to be happy in this otherwise kind of crappy of a year and as always thank you guys so much for watching happy mid autumn festival everyone see you